Today I'm going to walk you through how to make a simple rotation script in Unity. So we're going to start with uh, our sample scene, a blank Unity project. Um, and this is the basic setup. We have our inspector, we have the hierarchy, and we have our assets collection, our project files right here. So we're going to want to start with adding in a game object uh, that we can make spin through this rotation script that we're going to build out. So we'll start with uh, going up to the game object menu, 3D object, cube, and now we want this to be in view of the camera. So we can move this around by selecting left click and selecting these properties and getting this cube into the place that we would like it. Another way to move the camera around is to uh, hold down the middle mouse button, uh, hold down the right mouse button and using your scroll wheel to zoom in and out and we can change the view of this camera uh, by aligning it with the view or by physically uh, moving the camera using the uh, the move tool that appears here so I pretty much like uh, I like where the cube is right now. I can see in the camera preview uh, that we got a pretty solid view of the cube and this is just going to be a scripting tutorial so uh, I won't go into too much depth uh, outside of uh, just the scripting basics. So in order to create this script there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, one of them uh, and the most obvious is to right click inside your assets folder, go to create, and go to C sharp script, and we'll call this uh, rotator. And so this is automatically going to give itself the extension .cs for a C sharp file. And Unity is set up to open Visual Studio or Mono Develop when you are uh, going into the scripting mode. And so this will open up your basic uh, Unity uh, scripting environment or template, uh, which starts with these preprocessor directives at the top. Um, don't get too uh, confused by all the information coming at you at this moment. Uh, because it will all make sense soon enough. Uh, so this, this program builds itself out using uh, some built-in collections in Unity. The first being the system collections and then the generic system collections and uh, the built-in uh, Unity engine functions. So uh, another quick tip is uh, if you hold down control and use your scroll wheel you can change the font size in this text editor uh, which can help for visibility when you're working on your scripts and what we're going to want is to uh, make this cube spin so we're going to want to essentially uh, script some behavior in here to apply that script to the cube and then make it spin. So within this rotator class, which we've named rotator, and you see it's applied to the script now, uh, we want to build some public variables. And public variables are uh, variables which will appear to us in the Unity interface. Um, variables that we can change using the Unity interface um, after we declare them in a script. So I'll start by writing out uh, our speed variable for the speed at which this cube will spin. You can write out public float speed and then we'll save this and if we go back into our Unity editor, we can see 
that the script has been updated in the inspector and then we can pull this over onto our queue and when we drag and drop this onto the cube the script is now applied to this asset and because the speed variable was made public we can change it within the uh, unity interface in the inspector so how are we going to make this this cube spin uh, what we need in this script at the moment is we need reference to the cube's location, the cube's transform as it's referred to in the Unity editor. And we're going to want to affect uh, the, the X, the Y, and the Z axis in order to give this cube the uh, ability to spin. So how do we do that in uh, the uh, from the scripting perspective? Uh, we're going to start by declaring uh, public variables that pertain to the x, y, and z coordinates of the cube's rotation. <clears throat> Control S to save and now when we go back into our Unity editor we can see that there are public uh, inputs for the X, Y, and Z variables uh, which is one of the, the great benefits to making these, uh, these variables public in the first place. So uh, all Unity scripts are set up with these basic void functions. The first being the start function, which it says here is called before the first frame update. We're not going to need this script to, to be called before the, the program runs. We're actually going to want it to be executed uh, while the program is running. So we can delete this start script and the comment above it. And the update uh, variable, or the update function, the void update function calls, uh, calls itself once per frame. So we are actually going to use uh, alternative to the void update function called uh, fixed update. And the difference between update and fixed update is that uh, fixed update is based off of time since the program was started, while update is based off of uh, the, the frame rate of the, the game that's being run. So we're going to use this fixed update. Um, and within here, we're going to want to write some code that will transform the rotation of the cube. And this uh, Unity makes this really easy on us. All we have to write here is transform, which calls the, uh, the, the transform of the asset, which this script is applied to, and then the dot rotate and then within these parentheses, we write new vector three. X, Y, Z. And these are the floats that, the, these are the public float variables that we put in the top. And then we want to multiply this all by speed. And we want to end that with a semicolon. Now we can see we're not getting any compiler errors. And when we run the program, our cube isn't spinning. And now why isn't the cube spinning? That's because our uh, public variables are all set to zero. So while the game is running, we can experiment with different speeds in uh, our x, y, and z public variables.
And now we're rotating it at uh, one speed from, from each axis. You can change that back to zero. I like a nice slow spin. So you can see we also can use uh, decimals in the public floats because the float, uh, the float data type gives us access to, to using decimals. So we have it at a 0.5 speed now. But when we press play again, the speed disappears. Now that's because we were running the game and we changed the variable uh, during that runtime. So any public variable that's changed while the game is running is not going to be saved uh, to the inspector. Uh, this is something to keep in mind because it allows us to get a little experimental with uh, the, the scripts that we're building. Also, if you're making any big changes uh, through the inspector during runtime, be prepared to lose all that progress once you stop the game. And there you have it, your first rotation script. Look at how cool this rotating cube is.